Well, that's, that's, that's what we would like to think, Rob. Uh, we'd been up for a long time, as in terms of trying to keep um, our competitiveness up. And I thought the boys were very competitive for a number of weeks. And it just, it's very hard to absorb a lot of young players in the side, particularly if the senior players don't play particularly well and have, you know, exhausted themselves. So we believe this week's been a good week of recovery and we're looking forward to players playing the full season out. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that we would have liked to have happened. We would have loved to have Cruz have played the seconds last week so he could play this week. He got, he got gastro <laughs> and he couldn't play. So, uh, you know, and wanting to name him and naming him is two different things you know, because we would have broken him down without that lead-up game. Um, it's important for our supporters, it's important for the family, it's important for the players, and I've already said that, that we, we account for ourselves in a manner that we can go forward over pre-season and... and uh, yeah, just give of ourselves as best we can. Well, he's training and playing at this stage, yeah. Yeah? Yep, yeah, yeah, same. So they know certain is they've got to sort of prove it? Oh, I suppose any, everyone's got to prove it, particularly if you've come off the ground from the previous week, but we would like to think that the training, the way it is, is designed that they will, they will get up and play, yeah. Oh, I've, I've been saying this for quite some time, so we're only going over dead ground. Really, it's another issue. It's an issue that really needs to be addressed. But you know, I've already said that. And I don't think it's appropriate before a game like this. This is about us playing Essen. But I, I don't mind. I'll talk to you another time about it. I'm not trying to avoid it because I, I just think that our game is basically too long. Not not for any other reason. It's commercially. I think that we need to package something up that is very highly representative of our of our great game. Uh, well, that's something we're looking at. Does he have to? No, no, if it was all built on one game, then we'd be very, very uh, negligent in our, our, our duties to, to suggest for one moment that, that one game is going to be the, the catalyst for a person going forward or back. So, and don't take this the wrong way. This is not that Brock is in a position that he's going to be chopped from the list. It's simply, I want to talk to Brock. I want to see where he is. He's a player that's uh, 28, I think, years of age, very, still, still young. I, I, there was a hint during the year that he, that uh, to me, from him, that he said that, you know, he's finding it pretty tough. Uh, he's rejuvenated himself, so perhaps at the end of this year he, he may be. There's some players that will go to the end of their career, and they'll announce it. Others like a bit of fanfare. Others you know about. In Brock's case, he's the sort of kid that I'm. I'd be surprised if he doesn't come to me this year, next year, the year after, and say, I've had enough and it'll be on the quiet, and that'll be it. So I, I don't know. I, I, I would say that he's still got playing quality in, in him, personally, at this stage. I'd be surprised. Yeah. I'd be very surprised. I don't, you know, it's not something that sort of jumped up at me and said, Brock McLean might be here next year. It's a free agent. That's, that's the attitude. It, once you create a rule, Rob, and the AFL have created a, a rule that says free agency, we have been a beneficiary of a free agent. We have, we have picked up Dale Thomas. We have lost Eddie Betts. Um, most clubs are going to be affected by free agency one way or the other. It is simply, it's no, it's no different than when you used to kick the ball out and, and as far as you could on the Northern Oval out in the Creswick Road. Now you know if you do that, it's a free kick. So therefore, it's the rules of the game state that when you've got a free agent, he, he's contracted up into a certain period, you want him to play good football up to that period and then he makes a decision. I, I don't get too caught up in something that is beyond my control. We can, we can paint the picture that this is the place he should play, he may get painted another picture that this is where the money is and this is where you should finish your career. I, I certainly don't get caught up in that. Uh, I, I believe so, and again, you're talking to the wrong person. That's an Andrew McKay thing, but I'd, yes, of course, we, we offer contracts to, uh, yeah, put it this way, Andrew McKay hasn't said to me, oh, by the way, I haven't offered a way to your contract. Of course we have. Rob, look, regardless of when it is, I, I, I would be mortified if I didn't coach along the lines that every game is, is, is important. This one would be taken no differently. We're not going out there to say, oh, look, by the way, we'll rest up for next year, or look, we're going to be playing kids. You've seen we've, we've dropped three or four kids out. We just had, we, could, we couldn't absorb them all last, we didn't have players last week, so we, we in, in many respects, we were forced to pick kids that probably weren't, individually, yes, but collectively, you can't lean on each other as a kid because you've got no experience. So we've, we've picked the best side we possibly can to represent the Carlton Football Club with our intent to win the game and to go forward. Make no mistake about it. This is not a, of, of uh, 
rewarding someone for his last game or, look, he's been a great kid and good luck, we'll finish off the season. No, we've picked our best side. And we'll be running down the race with, uh, as far as I'm concerned, with the best possible attitude. And we want to present to our Carlton fans in, our, in, in no uncertain manner that this is, this is a football side that wants to be massively competitive.